So I've said this in my other reviews of the Malibu. Acceleration is decent for this kind of car, but I would much prefer the two liter turbo. And there's the auto stop there. And I will say the CVT does allow for a more linear power curve. And by that, I mean, you don't have to worry about shift points like you did in the six speed automatic, but I just don't, CVTs just feel weird to me. I don't, I never liked them. I have a Pacifica hybrid that has a CVT and that actually feels good, but it's also a minivan. And I just feel like this needs a traditional transmission but for commuting and all that, it helps save on your fuel mileage, so. Coming down the interstate here, I really like the ride. And the 17s definitely are not harsh in terms of the ride quality. Just a really nice, comfortable ride coming down the stretch of the interstate. And minimal road noise. And I've said this before, but the Malibu almost has a kind of Buick ride quality to it. Just really floats down the road while still being able to feel the road. It's not Cadillac, but it's it's got the best of both worlds in my opinion. I can feel the road, the steering is pretty, Well diverse, I guess. We'll give it a little throttle here. just pulls really nicely and that's another benefit of having the CVT is it finds where it wants to be a lot faster than it did in the six-speed automatic when you had the 1.5 turbo in the older models But like I said earlier, my only issue with the LT is I feel like there should have been more of a difference between an LS and an LT just because that's kind of the, the, the mid-level trim is what it's supposed to be, especially since they got rid of the Premier. And it's kind of like LS, RS, then you have LT and 2LT. And I just feel like this LT should have more in terms of differences compared to the LS. Obviously the heated seats are nice. Having the daytime running lights are nice, but I just feel like more should be offered other than that and a power seat and remote start. But still a, a really good car for the money. In terms of safety tech, could have done a little better compared to the Camry Accord, but I feel like even the Altima might have it beat a little bit, but still this is 
the best riding car in my opinion. But this will bring me to the end of my review of the 2023 Chevrolet Malibu LT.